There's no need for Hollywood to make a Left 4 Dead movie, because it's already been made numerous times before. Left 4 Dead is a game that explores the zombie movie genre like no other. Think about Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, 28 Days Later. It's clear that the developers at Valve have zombies on the brain. And why not? Zombies are the new Nazis, after all. You can kill them over and over and over, and no one will care. And believe me, we'll be killing a lot of zombies in this game. Left 4 Dead is set up as four scenarios, with no real narrative that ties them together. You start a scenario with one objective, work your way to an extraction point with three other people. The whole presentation is typical Valve excellence. Each scenario is presented as a movie. It starts with a movie poster and ends with movie-styled credits. Even the characters you play follow the standard movie cliches. There's the grizzled veteran, the biker, and even the spoiled princess. If someone doesn't get extracted, then the movie becomes dedicated to their memory. It's all very tongue-in-cheek and fun. Left 4 Dead is something of an oddity, because there are not many games that are predominantly co-op in nature. Yes, there is a single-player mode where you can play with bots, but it's not the same thing. If you play this game, you're getting it to play co-op. The game comes alive when you're working together with another player, screaming at dissenters, and yelling with your friends when zombies push through. In this way, it actually captures the group dynamics that are found in zombie movies. You just don't get this with the bots. They are much more passive and will usually wait for you to push forward. The fact that there are only four scenarios might turn some people off, especially since it takes about 30 minutes to beat each one. Now, before you scream that there are only two hours of gameplay, cool your jets because each scenario is highly replayable. A large part of this is thanks to the director system. Basically, the game will change each playthrough. It gauges how well you are doing and adjust the game by changing things, such as idle locations and where the bosses are. Because of this, you will think on your feet with your friends. The levels also have a varied look to them, with great little details and bleak humor, and part of the appeal is playing over and over again for a better score or performance. With that said, it is a little disappointing that there are only four scenarios. Each playthrough has been consistently fun, but you do wonder if people will be playing this game three months from now. This entirely depends on the community that springs up from this game, but it's something to keep in mind. In addition to normal co-op, there's a mode called Infected, where players can play as the boss zombies to try to take out the other survivors. This is quite fun, but it requires a certain type of strategy not found in the other modes. After all, zombies can't use guns for whatever reason. You rely on special moves, such as ensnaring people with a long tongue or tackling guys to the ground. Coordinating with other zombie friends and traps in is very satisfying. From a technical standpoint, everything runs very smoothly. The frame rate is solid, and the sound design is very atmospheric and dynamic. The game uses a source engine, which powered Half-Life 2 and the Orange Bomb, so it looks good and it does the job well. And although I mentioned it before, it's worth saying again. Play this game with a headset. There are non-verbal forms of communication, but it's not the same. It's all about the constant chatter between you and your friends. This is a very social-minded game that really plays off human nature. Ultimately, the enjoyment derived from this game depends on who you're playing with and how you're playing. It's a celebration of zombie culture and gets many things right. The million dollar question is whether the limited number of scenarios may hurt the longevity of the game. However, at the moment, it is quite simply a zombie lover's paradise. For the full written review, zombie shuffle over to IGN.com.